Hey guys, welcome back to DOS Storm. So today we're checking out yet another sound card. The sound card I've dug up today is the Crystal CS4235-X3. The only reason I'm able to remember that whole name is because I have it taped to the camera, so I remember it. But a better question is, does this sound card sound any good? And the answer is, of course, no. In fact, if I was a Yamaha OPL3 chip, I would be offended of how this chip represents me. But thankfully, Yamaha OPL chips aren't sentient and, uh, you know, can't be offended by things, but you can be. But maybe it's not all bad. Maybe I just said it was really bad so I could get a great thumbnail image for you to click on. Do something so I can do something like this. Or. But jokes aside, we're gonna have a listen to see what this sounds like right after a word from our sponsor of this video today, PCB Way. Yes, PCB Way is a manufacturer of custom PCB boards. These boards can be built to your specifications and can be made any way you want. But the cool thing about PCB Way is they offer other services as well. They offer 3D printing, injection molding, and CNC machining all at affordable prices. As of this video, they're also having a big sale. So check that out in the video description below and I'd like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. So before we give this card a listen, I thought I would go over the specs of my test system. So I have this card placed into my slot one Celeron rig that I built a few videos back. Everything will be recorded as usual using my Scarlett 8i6 interface. I'm also going to throw a few examples of DOSBox in there just so you can get an idea of what it's kind of supposed to sound like. So without further ado, let's listen to the samples of what this card sounds like, and I'll give you my final thoughts and the pros and cons of this card at the end of the video. So now that you've heard what it actually sounds like, you may be thinking, well, are there any pros to owning this sound card? And there are a few. For one, you're going to find this card to be very cheap. Now there's a reason for that because everyone sort of knows it sucks. All in all, I got this card at an auction for less than $7 shipped to my house. That said, as undesirable as this card is, it is super easy to set up. I pretty much just popped it in the system and Windows 98 took care of the rest. All the drivers were loaded instantly, which I have to say is sort of a breath of fresh air compared to a lot of the sound cards I work with, with difficult drivers and weird IRQ settings and all that. And another definite pro of this card is game compatibility. Whether it was Sound Blaster, Sound Blaster Pro, or even Windows Sound System, this card worked with every game that I tried. However, easy setup is not going to save this card. And I've reviewed other sound cards on this channel, and some of these cards people might construe as being terrible sound cards. 
like the AD 1816 I did in another video. However, in my opinion, that card actually sounds decent in some games and can even sound better than a real OPL3 in certain circumstances. This card, on the other hand, is just inherently flawed. The implementation of OPL2 and OPL3 sounds are just off and broken. And you don't have to dig too far on Google, Voggins forums, or YouTube itself to find other people saying the same thing about this particular chipset. Which is a shame, really, because a lot of times this sound card sounds like it's almost doing a good job, and then, like, the Saint Anger snare comes in and messes everything up. So in conclusion, I would really avoid this sound card at all costs, unless you're some kind of weirdo who likes to collect all these sound cards like myself. Because even the Sound Blaster Live, which I revealed in another video, is really an awful card for DOS. At least has the saving grace of having a cool wavetable feature and also being the greatest Windows card of that era. And this card in particular has none of those things to save it. It's a turd in Windows with its low volume and as we demonstrated, it's a huge turd in DOS. So we all know what to do with turds. You avoid stepping in them. And unfortunately, this old cheap sound card, even back then, is a big turd you should avoid. You know what's not a big turd? My channel. Hopefully you think that. If you liked this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one.